Okay now, guess who's back? We got a little grill thing up here. Oh, that's already hot. Got to put some of these ribbies on here. Like I said, I get them a little soft and tender in the crock pot. I like some of that juice to jump on there and get it smelling good. I don't have a lot of them because I already made some chicken. Ooh, that smells good. And then we got that. I feel like barbecue beef. Papa Texas, hello, I'm barbecuing. You gonna come on this grill one day. Now look, I'm pre-diabetic. I like something that tastes real good. And this sugar-free, hickory-flavored, G. Hughes Smokehouse, gluten-free, two carbs per serving, who cares about that, but my sugars are zero. And I have to watch my sugar intake now. And I tell you what, barbecue sauce has a lot of sugar. And sometimes the Carolina tangy ones don't, but this is good flavoring. Let's see if that's gonna work there. Let me just pour it in here. Get it on in my bowl. Hey, you know the only thing I'm missing is my beer 30. So I set that there so y'all can see it. Stubs. Get some of this on here. Ooh, that's looking good. That's feeling good. Now, is that a big barbecue stick or what? I don't think I need it that big. But it did. So let me get this on here. Like I said, chicken cooks real good on here. Just about anything does. I mean, it is a humdinger of a barbecue pit. And big. Come on now. I may have to fire up my fire a little bit. Get it a little hot in there. The raccoons will be coming onto my grate tomorrow night. I mean tonight. Let me see what I have to do to get this a little fired up. Let's put that across there to keep the place nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and turn them over. Do the other side. Get on that side. Get it going. Get it going. Get it going. Get it going. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on this side. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I got plenty of that so I can smather lather it up. Guys, being from Texas, I barbecue everything. Including my bacon. There's a funny story in it. When I was in med school, I had a, a roommate also in med school. And on the weekends, I loved to cook whatever we were going to think we could get home to eat. That was a joke. Because you spend your life at the hospital. So that morning, or well, a couple mornings, I, I should say, no gander at that. I made barbecue bacon. Cooked my bacon. And at the last minute on this grill thing, put the barbecue on my bacon. So when I left, she was craving barbecue bacon. I'd be darn that silly girl, silly doctor, <laughs> went to the meat department and said, can I have some barbecue bacon Texas style? He just looked at a man. No, we don't have barbecue bacon. They don't make barbecue bacon. Well, she does barbecue bacon. She said, she, he said, of course, I put it on there. Ooh, these coals are good. I may fire that up a bit. Ooh, those coals are red. Ooh, come on, baby. I got to show y'all that. I'm good when I'm good, horrid when I'm horrid. I'm liking those coals. Let me get on over here and show you that. Now, I'm ran out of coals. I just got a little smidgen, but like I said, good thing we ain't waiting on to eat. But look at those hot coals. See, you got to do your fire below. Put some cedar chips in there. Ooh, look at that. That good. That perfect. That's perfect. I didn't think they were going to take because they were in the cabin and moisture was getting in there. And uh, I didn't think the coals were going to be any good. But anyway... Like I said, we get that great plum full of chicken, plum full of hot dogs, plum full of T-bones. I love T-bones. I don't know why. I guess I like the bone in and it seems to flavor them. But look at those coals. We got it going on. Woo! That's because I have a space below it to put my bird's nest, I call it, of cedar chips. See the bird nest. Oh, hello, don't be 
flopping out on me camera and get that thing real hot instead of with just one of these lighter things so, oh that's hot that's feeling good i'm gonna back this back up see what we got i should go fishing hello Do so much good on fishing today i'm gonna be fishing but i'm pooped my ankle gave out kind of re-injured it so oh boy don't know what i'm gonna do about that the doctors orthopedic doctors been wanting to fuse it and i be i just refused refused to fuse because the rehab and this and that and it's just ungodly like this was i mean we're talking three years now failed ligament surgery you know it's bad enough i broke a bone but breaking a bone is easy that mends you plate it you pin it screw it boom kabam you're gone but when you tear ligaments and tendons it's a different ball game so they transferred a ligament from somewhere else and put it on the posterior tibial ligament and it failed and uh, it's really failed now i think it snapped the rest of it snapped so i'm just having a hard time with my ankle especially at the end of the day i, I i'm, I'm non-weight bearing at night something about the arthritis and i have to have two crutches to get up and then it gets going but then in the afternoon like this time let's see what time it is 10 after 6 eastern time it, it just goes belly up and I had to put back on my air cast and i may have to put back on the boot this big boot isn't that pretty nobody's here hello <laughs> what's wrong with this picture <laughs> but the skeeters aren't out because of the thing oh that's mighty pretty get on up in there I always keep a bucket of water. You never know when something can get away from you. Look at this, these shavings down here. I'm going to put these shavings back up in there. I don't mind a little power. Well, that ain't it. I don't know how these going to do. I don't think my hot fire is hot enough, so... Let me get this turned off and see what we can do about that. And again, I normally build up my coals onto another kind of a grill thing in there or build up the uh, grill set it on some bricks but that thing is heavy or either I got old but anyway I'm gonna let that smoke and do its thing a minute then we'll turn them over but for now whoo what a pretty sunset evening over and out for now Captain B okay maybe I have OCD with the barbecue pit it's still smoking this is part four <laughs> forgive me i'm just excited that thing hadn't been fired up in a year and it's about to go out on the smoke but i had it pretty good with the wood i had and you can smell the hickory you smell a little bit of the cedar too um just about going out there's more coming out of the front side i know i'm getting y'all dizzy but ain't that sweet i'm videoing it up from the, the deck here Sweet, 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 sweet. Over and out.